Hey guys, welcome back to Quim Jam Adventures. Today we're playing uh, Jenga, um, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Instead of, you know, poking the pieces off with your finger, that's boring, um, we're gonna shoot the pieces out. I don't know if this is gonna work. It probably won't, but let's find out together. So, uh, but first we're gonna need some players. All right, so I got two people joining me today. So I've got Nick and Graham. Uh, so we are going to be shooting the Jenga Brinks Brinks? Bricks? <laughs> One after another. Um, we are going to be using the Kui 39, the, well, 22 long rifle, long, short, etc. We're going to shoot 22 shorts because I think they're going to have the least likelihood of just knocking the whole thing over. Um, and we're going to try it and see if this just goes horribly. So uh, let's get loaded up and give it a shot. All right, so we got everything set up here. So we have the Jenga on the table. Uh, just So we're using... The, like I said, the single shot Kui. Reason for that is, is since there's a bunch of people, we're gonna be manipulating around this table. Um, single shot, once somebody's fired, we know it, it's clear. We know uh, there isn't another round in the chamber, so it just makes it a little bit safer for us. As well as we've angled this at a 45 degree angle to the, where we're kind of gonna be at. Cause then that way, if we wanna shoot this side of the blocks, we have a safe direction. And if we want to shoot this side of the box, we have a safe direction. And then we're always going to be behind the the muzzle here at, uh, at all times, just to try and keep it safe for the random crap we're doing. So anyways, uh, let's start playing. All right, so as I said, we're going to use 22 short, nice small bullet. So hopefully this doesn't destroy this. So, all right, let's see what happens. Uh, let's shoot this one. I lost on the first shot. Okay. Um, oh. Let's see if we can find the piece here I don't, that I shot. I don't know if it flung out or if it's still in the pile there. Do you guys see where it went? <laughs> Give us a second. All right, well, we couldn't find the piece. It flew somewhere, so we reset it up. Graham's gonna take a shot now. Uh, this time we're actually gonna watch where the piece flies because we have no idea where it went. So we're gonna pay attention to that. Oh, I'm gonna get the other camera rolling here. Um, and we'll see what happens. So whenever you're ready, Graham. Okay, this time I think we saw the pieces, so. Uh, just set that down on the table for the moment. Obviously we know it's clear. Come on with me. We got a piece here and a piece up there. The bullet's still in this, this block. What? Oh, damn. <laughs> so we got a little bit high. So we actually hit the, or Graham hit, not me. Um, hit the piece, so. Okay, well, I think this is a little too powerful for Jenga. So we're gonna try something else just to see if we can make this work. So let's set that up. All right, so before we try the other thing, um, the, the other option I have to try and make this work, we're gonna let Nick take a shot because it's not fair if he doesn't get a chance. So, and watch, it actually works for him. In which case then he wins this round. So that's that's gonna be the rule, so. And the prize is um, you get to go home after this. So, perfect. What? <laughs> All right, so whenever you're ready, So, clear that out. I did see, well, the bottom stayed together a lot better this time. Yeah, that was a good shot. Uh, I did see a couple pieces. Okay, so it looks like, actually, I don't know if this is from, uh, I come in here. I don't know if this is from Graham's shot earlier, but that looks like a, a little partial hit there. And then that one's clear. I saw, oh, right over here. Yeah, there's ah, one. here we go. Ho, 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 ho. All right. So, so you can see the bullet right in there. Nick shot. got a shot right in the end uh, and did it. So, That's but as you can see here, he actually left a lot standing um, as opposed to what me and Graham did. So um, for this round, at least I think Nick won. So your, your prize is the 
bullet in the I block. I get to go home. Yay! Yay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try one more thing to see if we can make this work to actually play a game. So uh, we're gonna set that up. All right, so we're gonna try with the uh, with the Django one more time, except this time we're gonna use the 22 uh, air pistol. So this is what the Crossman American Classic. I always forget the names of my guns, but it is in 22 caliber. So a 22 caliber lead pellet. You probably can't see that, but I showed you anyway. So it's a multi pump air gun. So I'm going to, since we had so much energy from that 22 short to start, um, I'm just going to do three pumps on this. You can go up to 10, but we're having an issue with too much energy getting dumped into this pile. So let's give this a shot. Okay. Try an end piece here. I'm just going to line up the barrel because the sights are too high here. Oh! oh! Yes! All right, we've got a game of Jenga going. If you want to see right here, we cleanly knock that out. I'm gonna quickly run and grab the piece here. <laughs> so it did not even penetrate the wood. It literally just put a little dimple in it. You see that? Awesome. All right, cool. Who's next? All right, so Nick's up next, now that this is actually working, apparently. So yeah, so either that way or this way, whichever way you want to shoot, Nick. That one. It almost knocked out another piece. I gotta grab this one. I wanna see what it did. Oh yeah, so he he nicked it. Um, <laughs> this is Quick Jab Adventures. We do puns here. <laughs> so yeah, he got that one there. So toss that on top. Um, I don't know. Do we say with it kind of messed up? Do we say we fix it or do we play it as it stands? I feel like the game will end quickly if we don't. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. It's it's our game. We can make our own rules. So we're gonna... It's branded. <laughs> Shh. Hashtag Not ad. sponsored by Jenga. Hashtag ad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Graham's next. All right, so Graham's up now. Let's see if we can keep this going. This isn't going to go well. Oh. <laughs> he shot that right out of the center. <laughs> Yeah, just another little dimple in there. The pellet's like sitting in the middle of the tower. What? Actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Here. <laughs> the, it's right there. Ah! I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. All right, so we actually have a game of Jenga here going. It's actually working now. Let's see how long this lasts. Alright, well, it worked for a couple shots at least, but rather than setting this up again and playing again, we're going to do, we got, we got something else we're going to try, so give us a sec. Hey guys, also remember that I did start a new channel, Quim Jam Outdoors. It is going to be the channel for all of my well, activities that aren't firearms related. So all the firearm stuff staying here on Quim Jam Adventures. So uh, hunting, shooting, any of that kind of stuff's gonna stay here. But anything that's not that, my kayaking, fishing, hiking, uh, the car stuff that I've got coming up, uh, all that's gonna be on Quim Jam Outdoor. So make sure to go check that out. Link description down below. It's gonna be written like right here on the screen, but you can't click that because it's, yeah. Anyways, make sure to go like subscribe there after you like and subscribe this one if you haven't already, because that'd be rude if you didn't. And uh, yeah, so check out that channel too. All right, well now we have giant Jenga. Uh, so um, this might work a little bit better <laughs> because we're not using really small pieces. Um, so this is a giant Jenga set I made because the big ones are really, the ones that you can buy that are big ones are really expensive. And since we're gonna shoot them and potentially destroy them, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on it. So I made this myself uh, and yeah. So we're gonna jump up to 22 long rifle. We're still gonna use the Kui. Because uh, I think we're going to need a lot more energy to actually get through here. If we need to step down, cool. If we need to step up, we can do that too. Um, but yeah, let's give this a shot. All right, so Graham's up first this time uh, on the giant Jenga. So let's see how this goes. Huh. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, well it didn't bust it out, unfortunately. It got caught there. Um, you can see the bullet holes right there. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna try something else here, because I have a feeling when you're playing Jenga, if you're like actually like pressing on, feeling if there was any that are loose, this one might've just had too much weight on it. So I think we'll try seeing if you can find like a loose one first, then shoot it. And then if that doesn't work, we're gonna try something else, so. All right, so we know this one's got a little bit of play here right in the middle. So Nick now is going to try and shoot that one and see if we have better luck, because there just might be too much pressure on this side one, so. Nick's gonna give this a shot and we'll see what happens here. You're the first one to get a good shot on the small Jenga, so. It's true. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we just got just a straight little hole in there, so. All right, this might actually work. Let's keep going. All right, so, I'm gonna check for some Actually, I'm gonna try for that center one right there. Actually, you know what? I wanna make it a little tippy. Hang on, I'm not loading it yet. I'm gonna shoot this little side one right here. Ah, this is working. Let's go. All right, so once again, just another little bullet hole. Let's keep playing. Okay, Grimes up next. Oh, <laughs> you come over here. He didn't quite make it all the way out. So, let's just see. Oh yeah, it's wedged. Okay, we got it. All right, so these were coming all the way out, but I think we need a little bit more power, so we're gonna we're gonna upgrade here a little bit. All right, so we're actually gonna upgrade firearms. We're gonna go up to the Ruger PC9 um, or PC carbine. So we're shooting nine millimeter now. So this should have plenty of punch for this, or it's just gonna knock it over. So either way, this is gonna be interesting. So oh, that's the guy I'm shooting right there. We're just loading one at a time, since this is a semi-auto. All right, so here we go. Which one did I say? Yeah, that lower one or something. All right. All right, and shooting three, two, one. And the safety's on, so okay. Uh, three, two, one. Wait. <laughs> okay, hey guys, you show clear. <laughs> All right, come over here. So I shot the one, but I actually got two blocks. Oh my God. Okay, okay. first off, I shot two blocks. Second of all, the I got a gunpowder swirl from the bullet spinning in the barrel. That is so cool. I've never shot anything that cl up close before, so I've never seen that before. But yeah, we actually shot, you can see, I shot the center one out, but it also took the middle one out too. But it didn't fall over, so I haven't lost yet which is good because I shouldn't lose on my own channel. So Nick is up now. Whoa, half Jenga. All right, gun's clear, perfect. So I'm gonna grab the block here real quick. Oh, it actually went all the way through. So he got a direct center hit and it came all the way through and actually popped out there. But <laughs> the carnage up here is kind of crazy. It actually knocked a piece of like sap out of the one piece of wood. Um, well, it's still partially standing so we can... Wait, how do pieces fall backwards? <laughs> yeah, what? This, this game of Jenga is defying physics. All right, so, Graham's up next. Yeah, all these are pretty. I'm just gonna go for it. Just gonna go for one from that side. Okay, well, I'm gonna get out of the line of fire here. Jenga! <laughs> Dang it. All right, we'll clear the gun. 
All right, let's see if we can find the piece here, because I think it, oh, it flew away over here. Oh, we got another little spiral, dead center shot. So that's pretty cool. So, all right guys, well, this was our kind of, oh, okay, we got a bullet stuck in the wood there. That's one of the older ones. He's got some shrapnel here. Oh, that is so cool. Anyways, so Jenga kind of worked. Uh, so thanks for coming along to, uh, today, guys. Thank you to Nick and Graham for coming along and being my uh, players of Jenga and this weird experiment of if you had to explain this to somebody of what you did today, it's going to be kind of weird to explain. <laughs> Maybe a bit. You know, it went, honestly, it went better than I thought it was going to. Um, I yeah. was fully anticipating it just kind of exploding every time. So. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. Anytime we do this kind of stuff, I like to figure out whether or not it's going to work. It's kind of the experiment. If I know what's going to happen, I find it kind of a boring video. So, But hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. And we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Smash that like button. So I won, I think. I think you did, yeah. <laughs> Just for clarity, right?